Found a cool way to wash my face. Bit of an issue I was having yesterday was my face was really uh, sweaty after all that heat. So today, no problem. Just, oh yeah. Hose that off. Ah. That's good water. Just approaching 11 o'clock now. And here's my favorite part of the, uh, the day so far. Taking off my boots. So a wise man told me, wear your leathers around the camp because you could drop a knife, a piece of wood, a lot of injuries could happen if you're not, have your toes fully uh, enclosed. Then, when you portage and you go uh, canoeing, that's when you wear the, uh, the sandals, let your feet breathe. And that way also at night you have dry feet. For, well, you have a good chance that you have dry feet. And during the day, yeah, your feet are wet, whatever. But who cares? As long as you got dry feet at night, it's all that matters. All right guys, leaving site six. Waited around quite a bit today, the long, I think that's the record for how long I've ever stayed at a campsite in the morning. It's 11.30 now, almost lunchtime. I'm gonna try to make it to my next campsite for uh, two o'clock. The wind is picking up, so it'd be a little tough. Site 14 overlooking this uh, rock cliff. So we entered the uh, little channel here at Spider Lake. Just howling through here. Coming up to the portage from Spider Lake to Vissery Lake, it is 590 meters. So just this uh, nice steep section up here, down here, at the end of the uh, Vissery Lake portage. And here's what you're greeted with to get on the lake. It's a little buggy and a little uh, shallow. Just gotta push my way out of here. So I can get on the water. Cute little beaver pond they got here. And here's the uh, beaver dam with the 90 meter portage. Doesn't look like I got a lot of choice. Not even remotely passable. This is why they got this portage, but it's a bit of a gnarly one. Gorgeous campsite over there on Vissery Lake. Another one over there. Overall, not a bad lake. The portage from Vissery Lake to Keswick Lake. Looks like it starts off a bit steep. For a 90 meter portage, this one sure has taken a long time. I had to ditch the canoe, I'm just exhausted. I don't know what's going on here. Can't tell if I'm on the right trail. I'm not exactly happy right now. Okay. Now there's a portage sign missing. What lake's that? There's a 400 meter roughly detour from Crest Lake to Vissery Lake. That is what this is all about. Dear gosh, it would've been nice to know that one planning. When I was planning this trip, I did all the research, I got the maps out, I looked at contour lines, I looked at portages, and that's how I decided my route. This 400 meter portage from hell just got thrown in there roughly. I didn't account for it. I wouldn't have chosen as much distance and everything else if it wasn't for this. It's just, it's, it's killing my calves. I'm tired, cranky, and sore. Yeah, I'll eat some more when I get done this portage, but Frickin' brutal. And of course, like a champ, I must have dropped my fishing net at the beginning of the portage. So I have to go all the way back and get it. Now I gotta be the only person I know right now that's complaining about low water levels. Stopping to refuel here on Creswick Lake. The wind is just absolutely killing me. It just, it's always going the direction. It's always going the opposite direction I'm going. 
Nice sight there, 107 on Crestwork Lake. You get the whole lake to yourself, besides guys like me passing through. At the end of Creswick Lake, here's Creswick Lake to Spewer Lake Portage, 50 meters. Quick, nice and easy portage there into Spewer Lake. And take a look at this beauty. Look right over there. I'm hoping that's where my campsite is. If so, this is going to be awesome. This lake today is going to be called the uh, Pray for Nathan Lake. gone through about uh, I think it's about five to I think it's about five portages to get here and uh, I'm feeling like quite the uh, the warrior for making some of them especially that detour portage which we actually make it six feeling like Xena warrior princess right now site 108 look at this little contemplative spigot Peninsula. I'm gonna do some deep thinking down there. What a sight, man! This is amazing. The only thing that's annoying is that you can hear the boats from uh, the Georgian Bay just a stone throw away. 400 meters, but that's fine. I'm sorry, folks. I just can't get enough of this sight. Look at this rock formation that just jets out all along there. We're at the uh, end of the peninsula here. It's where they have the uh, picnic table and fire pit located. It's going to be a bit to carry all the wood here. As I quickly learned last night, you don't need a lot of wood. And it sounds like we're going to have lots of frogs croaking at us all night, so that's going to be awesome. Just look at this site. If you can get past or the deer fly flying around me right now. This is incredible. Can, can you see them all? I know. I know. What have I got myself into? At least I got the bug tent. Yeah, they're vicious. Now portaging from Spewer Lake to the South Channel, 380 meters. Give it a go. Ontario Parks has a canoe here, eh? Cool. Just sweating buckets right now. It's hot. Putting the bug net on and walking around and battling all the deer flies, you get really overheated pretty quickly. That's why I'm cooling down apparently with some scotch. Yep. I'd like to go for a swim, but a little nervous of the water, especially out here alone. So exceptional, a little spotty, and the deer fly hungry like crazy. I think I might be okay not going uh, swimming until tomorrow. Definitely going swimming tomorrow, though. Can't miss that. Having the backpacker's pantry's pad tie, one I usually try to avoid after uh, getting it all over me while winter, winter slash spring camping with Tim there the one day. But they've uh, really improved it nowadays. Like they give you the peanut butter, the peanuts, and now they give you a lime. And I'm guessing that this is the sriracha, sriracha sauce. Put a little uh, mio here in our drink to get some electrolytes going, especially in this heat. Don't want any dehydration or passing out. My wife doesn't seem to like that. The fire just roaring. Full moon in the background. This is living. We're gonna try something completely different here. We're gonna try sleeping on the picnic table. Do you know how that goes in the morning? <laughs> 